Hello, everyone. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial for uh, these types of questions in Chapter 3, which is starting with a decimal number and finding a number that is 10 times as much and a number that is one tenth. <clears throat> so the first thing that we have to remember when we have a question like this uh, is we want to say to ourselves, okay, 10 times as much as this number. Is that going to be a bigger number or a smaller number? And it is going to be a bigger number because 10 times as much means it is 10 times bigger. So we start with the decimal right here. And because it is bigger and it's 10 times bigger and the number 10 has one zero, we're gonna move it one place to the right. So our decimal now goes there and that equals the number three. So 10 times uh, bigger than three tenths is the number three. Now, when we uh, look at the one tenth of question, we have three tenths. And now we say one tenth of this means if I took this number and broke it into 10 equal parts, what is one of those? So it's going to be smaller, 10 times smaller. So now we're just going to move our decimal in the opposite direction. And we're going to go to the left. And that is going to give us three hundredths. So three tenths. Uh, 10 times as much as that is the number three, the whole number, and one tenth of that is three hundredths. So same thing now, we have six hundredths here. 10 times as much means we're getting bigger and we're moving the decimal one place to the right and it's gonna be six tenths, okay? 10 or one tenth of that means the number is getting smaller and therefore we're moving the decimal back one place to the left and we're going to get six thousandths, okay? Uh, for the third one down here, one tenth, uh, ten times as much, we're moving it one place to the right and we get one. One tenth of, it's getting smaller, we move it one place to the left and we get one hundred. Okay, and then finally, the last one down here at the bottom, we have nine hundredths. We want ten times as much, we're going to move it one place to the right and we get nine tenths. If we want one tenth of, we're going to, it's getting smaller, we're moving in one place to the left and we get one thousandth. I hope this is helpful.